course is separated into eight sections. The first section is the one you're in right now, the introductions and overviews. In this section, we'll introduce the course and myself, the instructor. Then we'll get you set up with everything you need to complete the exercises that come later. We'll also go over the requirements and prerequisites for this course to ensure you're in the right place and you're ready to go through it. In section two, we'll give you a conceptual overview of Node and the story behind it. We'll start with the history of Node. It's quite a story and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. After that, we'll walk through the nuts and bolts of what Node is and what V8 is, how they both work, as well as how they relate to each other. I'll then show you a sample Node app so we can apply what we just learned to a real-world example to cement our understanding of how a Node application really works. We'll then talk about a few common Node conventions used, as well as differences between writing JavaScript for Node.js and writing it for the browser. We'll also go over the differences between Node APIs and built-in JavaScript functions, and we'll go over the read, eval, print loop, REPL, that comes with Node. In section three, we're going to jump right in and build a RESTful API together. Doing this exercise will get you familiar with several key sections of the Node.js docs. FS, the file system, HTTP, crypto, lib, string decoder, and path, to name a few. In section four, we're going to build a sample web GUI. The major purpose of this app will be to consume the API we just built, but I'll also use it as an excuse to show you how you can build complex templated views within Node. In section five, you're going to build a command line application that takes user inputs from the console, processes them, and writes outputs back out to the console. This will get you acquainted with Node's read line, events, TTY, V8, and OS modules. Very few Node developers have ever built a command line tool in Node. After this section, you'll be one of them, and you'll have done it without a framework. How about that? Section six is all about testing. Did you know that Node has a built-in assertion library and that writing tests is as easy as creating a file? No quote unquote test runners or pipelines are needed here. In this section, you're going to write tests for a few of the functions that we wrote in the previous projects. We're going to write unit tests and also show some examples of how you test your new API over HTTP. We'll also explore how to use the strict JavaScript flag to lint your code for syntax errors and how to use the debugger to pinpoint issues during execution. Section seven, speed and scalability are two of the most popular reasons that devs choose to work in Node but few know how to profile or benchmark their code or tweak it for performance. Section seven will be a crash course in performance optimization and all things speed and scalability. Here, we'll refactor some of our earlier apps so that they're less resource hungry and then use the performance hooks module to time the execution of certain processes. Then we'll dive into nodes cluster and child processes modules to explore how any node app can take advantage of all the cores available to it. Section eight. Once you reach section eight, you'll be a development force to be reckoned with, but you'll still be missing experience with a few key Node.js APIs that we didn't fit into the earlier lectures. Section eight is dedicated to all these loose ends. In this section, you'll get experience with HTTP2, VM, UDP, NET, TLS, and more. Once this section is done, you're done. There really won't be anything left to teach you. As far as lecture format, the majority of this course will show a text editor on one side of the screen and a terminal on the other. I encourage you to make this video full screen on a full size laptop or desktop so you can see the text as it might be quite small. If you...